I remember it like it was yesterday. He like FaceTime me. And I'm like, Ooh, this Lil Wayne, like, oh my gosh. Bro, this Lil Wayne, bro. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm like going crazy. I'm like, y'all, my grandma here. He called me, he was like, yeah, I just, I did the verse. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're messing with it. Let me know what y'all think. Like, you sent the verse, I don't care what it sound like. I got a little, you know what I'm saying? But I go, I listen to it. He just said my lyrics. Like, hold up, hold up. I said, hold up. <laughs> I was geeking. I was like, bro, he just said my lyrics. I'm calling my mama, I'm going crazy. I'm like, mama, when you just said the track, when you just said the track. When I heard him say, Big Four Flage, I ain't get through the rest of the verse. I ain't heard nothing else. I'm like, Wayne just quoted me in the song, bro. Like, this the biggest step ever. Like, I, I, I was going crazy. I was losing it. That was like a Grammy. That was like the national championship won all over for me again. Desi from EQ sent me a beat in a pack and it was like Dollar Baby. The first thing I heard was, don't let the good girls go bad. And I was like, oh my God, this is hard. Like, what is this? Like, it was one of them beats that only played for like 10 seconds. And I was like, just load it up. Sue Bird talking to Wayne on ESPN. Sue Bird was like, yeah, so when you gonna do the song with Fly J? She basically threw me the alley oop, like on ESPN live. And he was like, yeah, I'm gonna work with a whoop. And he ended up reaching out for me. He sent the verse back like a couple weeks later. He gave me like a classic Wayne verse. Yeah, she the greatest. They really be capping. I see the hatred. I be beating the beat like Anita Baker. And I'm stacking the hundreds. You see the acres. The greatest to me, obviously Wayne, Tupac, Biggie, Rakim, Big Daddy Kane, uh, Queen Latifah. Really everybody. Nicki Minaj, she paved the way for me, was one of my biggest inspirations when I was younger. I love hip hop. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I went back and studied the greats. And I feel like that's what I did in basketball. Study Mike and LeBron and Kobe. Trying to be funny. I'm trying to get money. I guess in the end, I'm going to see you later. Just when the natty did it for my daddy, they see in my face, man, I'm in the paper. My number one biggest inspiration was my dad. My dad was murdered right before I was born. And he was an artist, you know, solidified in Georgia, signed a deal, was about to, you know, make his big break and then he got killed. So that's the whole reason I'm into rap. He's my number one rapper of all time. That's the reason, that's like my biggest information. Everything that I did in music was to cement my father's legacy. Basketball was never really a part of the plans. Like I always just said, I'ma just, I'ma rap and I'ma continue my father's legacy. Cause I never wanted his name to die. As I got on the biggest stage of basketball, it helped amplify my music, his music, his legacy. It's all about legacy. Man, I'm one of the ones, you see the trophy. You don't gotta respond if you really know me. I came up from the bottom and now I'm goaded. I throw you the oop, we like Shaq and Kobe. The Shaq and Kobe line was a reference to like my time at LSU, playing on that national championship team with like me and Angel and it was real dominant. Kobe's one of my favorite players of all time. Shaq went to LSU, so I just felt like the, the reference was definitely a fit. We were riding a Nissan, blocking like D-line. I'm going up and I cannot look behind. Please do not call me, I'm probably gonna decline. Think that I'm stopping, I'm still going beyond. Did the impossible, break every obstacle, trying to get money. We coming like Dion. Get to the top, honey's on stop, man. It is a must that I get it like Elon, yeah. The Dion line, that was definitely intentional. Just knowing that he played football and baseball and he was just such a, a prime figure. I just love seeing Dion be successful, doing everything he doing with his kids, leading the way in NIL. He one of the ones. I got bread, I can get you a piece. Keep a double, I feel like I'm Reese. Ain't no trouble, I'm keeping the peace. And they mad cause I came out the East. She led the leagues in double doubles in college. She doing it now in the WNBA, it's crazy. Still transcending. So that was kind of that whole nod. You know what I'm Everybody keep asking me, what does that mean? That's what it means. She keep the double double, I keep the double entendre. <laughs> They can't fathom I came out of beast. I'm my mama, I came out of beast. At the top, I'm not looking beneath. You my dog, we don't gotta compete. I'm really a product of what my mama done did. My mama quit her job to help me chase my dreams. The return on investment was good, but like in that moment, like, you know, you never knew what could happen. I just gave my mama that shout out because, you know, she a beast. Yeah, all you gotta do is run that check up and get paid. <laughs> they ain't believe it, now nah, I got me one with Wayne. My music was like a laughing stock. I remember I used to look at tweets and they'd be like, damn, people like people really be listening to Fly J, like, and they used to be like laughing emoji, laughing emoji, laughing emoji. And I used to be wanting to respond, like, what's funny? But I felt like people didn't want to accept the fact that, like, damn, she actually good at two things. I got one from the, the greatest of all time, arguably. And he shouted me out and he putting me on now. What? What you gonna say now? Yeah, I come from a place where you gotta go eat. If you do it, I do you a product of me. I done did it again and I'm not at my peak. I come from a place where my mom, dad was murdered. My dad was murdered. My stepdad dad was murdered. That's the type of place that I come from. So I know coming out of Savannah, like you gotta be a hustler and everybody trying to get their hustle on. Like you don't got a choice. Cause if you don't, you gonna drown in the water. You know, it's a blessing to make it out. So that's why I make it out and I always come back and give back too. If you gangin', we gangin', you ride it for me. I'm a millionaire and I don't got a degree. I done got me a natty, I got me a ring. I ain't switching no sides, I'ma ride my team. When I recorded the song, my mama had like randomly just sit me like, like this is what you got in your account. I was like, whoa. 
That's a lot of zero. I, I had to put that in the song because I was shell shocked. Even though I'm a college student, I do advocate for kids to get their education. You could not go to school and still run your checkup. You just got to have some hustle. And I think Lil Wayne understood that too because he was like, I'm a big man. I ain't got a degree. Yeah, I ain't got nothing to prove, but I do got me something to lose. I won't stop me. You got me confused because they keeping my face on the news. I don't have nothing to prove to y'all, but I do got something to lose now. I'm a role model now. Like, little kids look up to me. You know, they pushing me to push positivity. And that's what I'm pushing in my music and just like individuality and people being themselves. So I know the kind of platform that I have. And so it's like, I ain't finna do nothing to mess that up. I'm squeaky clean. Yeah, I think men on the biggest foe in the world. If you working for this and it follow your lap, then you really got what you deserve. Yeah. People don't even know like, you know, the real story behind Big Four, so I would love to tell it. My uncle Murdoch from Savannah, Georgia, he was like a hard basketball player. He wore number four and he was murdered, but he was like one of the hardest, like winning championships for the city. Like everybody knew him and he knew my father and things of that. They, they, were cold, they were cold like that. So it was like, I always wanted to kind of carry on his legacy too. Now, like Big Four is something that I kind of took and made in my own, but it was something just to represent him. It's kind of like I'm living both of their dreams, like my dad and my uncle Murdoch. So that's where Big Four come from. It started on the court in high school and like, it just kind of became my own persona. Cause I always thought like, like what am I going to be like? What's going to be my alter ego? Like, you know, Nicki Minaj got like Roman and you know what I'm saying? Lil Wayne, Lil Tunes, like, what's my thing? And it just became big four. And it's just something that I embody and I love it. And I go to LSU when I be repping it like I'm Joe Burrow. When I slide in the mozzie, I gotta keep checking it, gotta be thorough. I love LSU, but LSU love me. And they support me a thousand percent. I'm just so proud to be able to represent those three letters on my chest for real. Like, it's an honor for me. Before that, Joe Burrow was like the last person that really did some legendary stuff at that school. Like, when you say Joe Burrow, like that whole weight, like, that's that man. He bought the championship to a betting. And ain't no more revenues, ain't no more talking, and ain't no referrals. They been taking my flow, they ain't giving it back, gotta get reimbursed. Got the flow from my father. So when I first got into rap music, all I listened to was like 90s R&B and my dad. Like that's all I listened to. You gotta go listen to my dad's music, but the way that he raps is the way that I talk. I had to learn the crispiness, I had to learn the pattern. And for me, that's what make rap exciting. That's what make, I think, make rap the art form. The way that you can manipulate words and make it sound good. It don't even sound like you missed a beat. Yeah, I don't get scared, let me clutch my purse. I'm the hardest rapper in it, lead the game inside of hers. They hating in my own circle. Gold, yellow, I got my own purple. That's just how I freestyled it. And it was just like, they hating in my own circle. Cause I feel like the beat started to drag and slow down and I like that. That's really more of a, less of what I say, more of how I said it. I'm in gold and yellow, but like I got my own swag. Like that's my own purple. Once I kind of said LSU, like I'm starting to think like, okay, just LSU, just theme. That's one of the things that just come and you say it and like, oh yeah, that's fine. Keep that. <laughs> That was his song? Yeah. Dion made a song called Must Be The Money? Yeah. See, see, if I ain't got caught up on Gia's saying I, I knew that, I would've lied. <laughs> <laughs> I would've been like, hey, yeah, now I did it on purpose, but no, nah, I can't take credit for that. That's crazy. That be happening a lot, though. Like, I be doing double entendres on accident. People be putting together in the comments. I be like, oh, I ain't even knew that, but I'm still at, though. <laughs> this man keep breaking down my lyrics better than me. <laughs>